Okay, it's been a while since I posted a movie review or anything. This one's going to be a lot more just kind of, you know, blunt, straight to the point. I'm not going to take a lot of time. I'm not preparing anything right now. I am just ranting, and I'm just going to go because I feel like it's necessary to do it. Do not, I repeat, do not go see Holmes and Watson. I never in my life, never in my life have I ever walked out of a movie theater during a movie. I've never done it because people go, you know, they pay their hard-earned money and they're just going to sit through whatever crappy movie they might go and see that might not be the best, but they're still going to power through it because, you know, hey, I paid for it. I might as well stick through it. Well, I have AMC A-list now, so I'm allowed to see three movies per week for 20 bucks a month, which, you know, gives you a good opportunity to see movies that you wouldn't usually see or spend your money on. I didn't want to listen to, like, I was, like, listening to the critics a little bit, but you know what? I have really stupid humor. I enjoy most of Will Ferrell. I like John C. Riley, and I definitely love them together. Something went wrong. Something went horrible. Something went completely wrong, and I don't understand why it went so freaking bad. I don't get it. I, I, I don't understand. Whatever they were doing in the movie, it just wasn't funny. Nothing was hitting. They were ref- referring to stuff that was happening today, and since it's like in the 19th century, oh, you know, it's got to be funny if we say it now, like references like that. It's literally nothing they said made me laugh. Nothing at all. I made about probably about 35, 40 minutes of the movie since I just got up and I, I left. I left. So I I didn't see the rest. I didn't want to see the rest. It was just, it was terrible. There was about, there's four other people in the theater. There was a couple up front. They weren't laughing. Me, I wasn't laughing one freaking bit. The only two people that were laughing were freaking 12-year-olds who were on their phone through most of the movie talking and laughing. And they were laughing during the movie, which is freaking ridiculous in it in its own. But they were just like talking to each other the whole time. And when I don't want to tell people to shut up during a movie, that means that movie sucks. That means that I don't care one damn bit. I didn't care. I just didn't care. I just wanted to leave. So I got up. I picked up my fruit punch power raid that I got. Yeah, I stayed away from the caffeine this time, you know, because, you know, health reasons. But yeah, I, they're, they're, they're riffing off each other. They're playing off each other. Just, it didn't hit. And it usually does in stuff like Tal Day Nights and also in uh, Step Brothers. It worked. This, it didn't. Nothing. <sighs> It's just not funny. When a comedy is not funny and like sometimes some comedies can be so bad they're watchable. This was just bad. It wasn't even that. Like I don't know. The movie pisses me off. It took it pissed me off that that was a movie. It was directed to some guy named like Eaton Cohen. Not like Ethan Cohen, like Eaton Cohen. Okay, right now I gotta look up who the heck this Eaton Eaton Cohen. Eaton Cohen. Eaton Cohen is an Israeli-American screenwriter and film director. He is best known for writing scripts to Tropic Thunder, Madagascar. What? He actually helped write good movies, and he came out with this writer writing credits: Men in Back Three, Madagascar Two, Tropic Thunder, Idiocracy, King of the Hill. Oh, what the? I don't get it. And he directed it too, which. Yeah, he's probably going to have to stay away from the director's chair quite a bit. His only other real movie was Get Hard with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart, which is okay. But damn, the movie sucked. Really did. So I'm going to stop putting a lot of time into it. Like, I wish there was much more to say on this, but there really isn't because I didn't stay through the whole movie. And there's probably good reasons why I didn't. So stay home. This is my PS, my PSA. Don't spend your hard-earned money to support this movie because it is trash. I hope Farrell and Riley will recover from this. They most likely will, but holy shit.
this was not good. And I'm sorry for the people who actually went out, paid money, and sat all the way through it. So, yeah, this is pretty rough. I just want to get a video out there just to say this, and maybe I'll do more of these like this, a lot more raw, and I can start maybe doing reviews again and start actually putting them out. So, yeah. Um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to. Um, I'm also streaming on Twitch now, and that's pretty much what I've been putting some time into, even though that channel's not that big yet. Um, I'll put all the links to everything down below and all my social media and all that stuff. Uh, Twitch is Sketchy Corbin. So, yeah. So, I will bid you adieu, goodbye, and sketch.